the Pilates Show Mondays, outside the Pilates studio, where we take our Pilates brain and body outside of the studio. Today, I'm gonna to be talking to you a little bit about how you can build a detox bath right out of your kitchen cupboards. So I really like to have a bath at least once a day. It's really nice as a Pilates teacher to come home and have a daily ritual to kind of unwind the stresses of uh, anything that you ran into that day inside the studio or not. But also, this is a wonderful healing bath recipe that you can do uh, and give to your clients after maybe a really hard workout or if they really started to get into some movements or release work that really gave a toxin release. Um, this is just a wonderful way to just finish and clear out the body. So first, let's talk about the products. Very easy, everyday products that you can do to, to build this detox bath. The first one, Epsom salt. I buy this by the carton full. I really try to have it on hand at all times. Um, the magic of the Epsom salt portion of it is it's actually magnesium. Now, why is magnesium so important? Magnesium is very good for the connective tissue of the body, the musculature, the neurological system, um, and to help really start to distribute fluid through the body. Now, here's the thing. Taking a magnesium supplement is fantastic, but a lot of times it, the magnesium doesn't make it all the way through your digestive tract to really feed the rest of your body. So they're really finding that magnesium therapies put on topically or in a bath is a much more available way to get it transdermally. That means through the skin into the areas that need it the most immediately. So taking baths or even using um, magnesium gel, wonderful. So that's simple, right? Then we also have, I have sea salt here. Sea salt is wonderfully healing. If you can have the type that hasn't been refined, that's even better, but if you don't, throw some salt in. It's, it has beautiful drawing properties. Um, it won't dehydrate you because the mix of the Epsom salt and the sea salt will really actually soften your skin. It's quite wonderful. And then we have baking soda. Now this one might seem a little weird, um, but Wonderfully alkaline baking soda is great to take down the acidity of your skin, especially if you're drinking things like coffee or eating meats. It's wonderful to get a little bit of um, alkaline solution. But the other thing, what an alkaline solution does is again, it draws out impurities, whereas acid drives in to the skin, alkaline draws out. Wonderful if you have any issues with acne, but even beyond that, just taking kind of the everyday sludge and toxins that we walk around in, um, this will help to bring it out. Now, there's a really kind of nice ratio that I go by. Sometimes I double it, some days I triple it, but you're gonna do a half a cup of Epsom salt, a half a cup of sea salt, and a fourth of a cup of baking soda. That's a really nice mix between all of these. Um, and you know what I start to, I've started to do is just make a huge batch with those um, kind of ratios and then I put it in a bag by the bath so I can just scoop and go so I don't have to measure every time. Um, that being said, if you like a little bit more Epsom salt, please use it. This is just about, you know, what's easy and what's doable. Um, and if you only have a little bit of baking soda left, throw it in. Uh, the other thing to do is also to make it really kind of a nice spa-like ritual is put in some of your favorite essential oils. You can put in bubbles if you just can't seem to take a bath without it. Uh, those things just feel nice and they're just that nurturing moment that we all need because it's our number one job to take care of ourselves. You know, we're, we're, we're just pulled in so many different directions between jobs and family and extracurricular activities that we do. It's very, very important that we stop, take a moment, and take care of ourselves. And one thing I wanna add in here, that sometimes it's really nice to actually do a little bit of dry brushing before you get in the bath to really help to exfoliate the skin and get it um, ready to just go ahead and detox. Thank you so much for joining me today. And if you have any comments, please list them below, or you can always go on Facebook, Twitter, or our forums.